everyone here welcome back to my channel I'm Angie Stars. the Valentine is over so today I'm gonna show you what you what you're gonna do with your roses here I am using only petals so what I'm trying to say here is I'm gonna show you how I make my distilled rose water which is also called hydrosol you can call it hydrosol because it's distilled. So I'm going to show you how to make, or it's simply how to make rose water. Okay, but this I'm going to use the distilled um, method to extract my rose water. So keep washing. Let's get started. Here are what you're going to need to make this distilled rose water hydrosol. So here I have my rose petals. I am using only rose petals, as you can see. So you will need a bowl, a heat resistant bowl like this. You need a filtered or distilled water. You need some ice cubes. And you need a heat resistant um, glass bowl like this that you use to collect the water okay and you also need a pot pot like this you know so you need a pot like this clean pot that you will use to this day the water let's get to work so the first thing we do is get your bowl, place your bowl, oh sorry, it's you, <laughs> it just slipped out. So place your bowl in the middle of your pot, you can see I'm using a deep pot, place your bowl in the middle, next add your rose around the pot, we are making this Try to get enough roses. The more, the better, and the more um, water you will collect or hydrosol you will make. Okay, so you lay the roses around the the bowl like this. Can you see it? So next, you pour your water. So when I put the glass, the cup, it was too big, couldn't cover because we need to cover the pot and let it flap. And we don't need the pot, the cover of the pot to touch the bowl. So I had to get my smaller heat resistant bowl. So place, see that? You place the cover and next turn it on. Turn your stove on to low. I love using low heat to distill it. Then what you do next, just place your ice bag. Place your ice bag on it. You see? So when it starts heating as the um, as it boils, the water, the ice will help it. What the steaming will be dropping into the bowl, and that's how we collect our hydrosol. Okay, that's how we collect the hydrosol and the rose water. So what I do, I just place it there and go on and do that. I love, I love adding enough water. Go on and do more and shake it in every maybe every twenty to thirty minutes. You come and shake it. Just keep this um, your stove on the on a low heat and then leave it there. So you shake it often. When this when the ice everything has melted, you change your ice bag and place another one. You keep collecting, collecting until you get enough of the rose um, distilled rose water you need or the hydrosol you need. Okay, so we'll be back. 
Okay, guys, I'm um, shaking on it. You can see this eye. You can see the first badge of the eyes are fully melted and become water and hot also. So, you can see. Do you see that? That's how it's collected. The aroma here is so delicious. That's if you love rose like I do. I love the smell. So let's see what we have collected so far. Oh, you can see it. Oh my goodness. You can see the amount of hydrosol. We have got it so far. Oh my gosh. Bump my hand. <laughs> Do you see that? You can see it. It smells amazing. Oh my goodness. It smells amazing. So, so but we are still going to co continue until I feel my one little girl. <laughs> So it depends. But anyway, so this is how to do it. You can see the flower is down there. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do with the water later. You're not going to throw it away. Still going to use it, okay? So I'm going to cover it again. And we keep collecting the hydrosol. That's the distilled rose water. So I'm going to put another eyes on the top. So place another eyes on the top and we continue to collect. Okay? So So guys, so you can collect as much as you want. All you need to do is just um, keep replacing the eyes and keep your eye on it. Maybe you shake it every 30 minutes. If you keep your stove, to make sure your heat is on a, a low, very low, so that it can be collecting it gradually then you keep shaking on it and keep changing your eyes until you get as much hydrosols as you want or um, rose water as you want okay so that's how to make this tea rose water all right okay guys i will keep um Collecting my eyes, <laughs> sorry, my rose water, my distilled rose water, which is also called hydrosol. And um, you guys can try this and let me know in the comment box how yours. Make sure if you are doing this, get a, a good um, rose uh, petals that smells so good like mine. So do your own nothing like do it yourself because most of the rose water you buy from the stores some are just you know they add uh, like a rose flavor to it most of them are not original why some are original so when you're buying make sure you buy organic or try you know like know the source okay so uh, better still make yours at home because it's very easy and simple to make right all right guys that will be it see you guys in my next video stay organically beautiful love you all bye bye